Number 1. Sandusky Police Officer Arrested for DUI A Sandusky police officer named Kenneth Gauchki Jr. was pulled over by the police patrol, but they couldn't believe what they saw. Gauchki was drunk and speeding, but this wasn't the worst part. His interaction with the police officer escalated into a dispute. The incident occurred on September 23rd at approximately 10.20 p.m. when Gauchki was pulled over on Fox Road in Huron Township. He was stopped for driving 75 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour speed zone and was subsequently charged with two counts of driving under the influence, improper handling of a firearm in a vehicle, vandalism, and speeding. Let's take a look. Evening. Hi. Driver's license, proof insurance. Um, I don't have my driver's license on me. I'm Officer Gauchi. Yeah. That's the PD. Yeah. The reason why I'm stopping you is got, I got you doing 75 and a 55. Are they going that fast? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have your driver's license on you? I don't have it on me. You don't have it on you? No. Okay. All right. Just All sit right. tight for me for a minute. I'm sorry? Just sit tight for me for a minute, okay? All right. According to the report, the officer who pulled over Gauchki observed signs of potential intoxication, including glassy eyes and slurred speech. Initially, Gauchki denied consuming any alcohol, but later admitted to having a couple of drinks. You had anything to drink tonight? No, sir. No? Just, I had a couple. But you had a couple? That's about it. Okay. All right. You want to take a field sobriety test for me? No. <laughs> okay. You want to take a PBT for me? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Car in park? Yeah. Okay. Go on and step out of the car. Following the initial questioning, Gauchki explained that he had a gun in the center console, claiming to be a police officer. His intention was to use his information to suggest that he should be let go without further testing by the other officer. However, it becomes clear later that this tactic fails to succeed. You don't have your weapon on you or anything like that, do you? No, sir. No? Okay. I'm going to come back to my vehicle. It's in the center console. It's in the center console? Yeah. Okay, so you do have one? It's in the center console. I'm, okay. I'm the police officer. Right. I understand that, but I don't know if you have one on you. Or not is what I'm asking. It's not on Not on me, you, it's no. in the center console. Okay, back here to my cruiser, please. Okay. Is it loaded? Well, yeah, I'm a cop. <laughs> I understand that, but I mean, I don't know if you got one in the pipe or not, or if you got it, the ammo separated from it or what's going on with it. That's why I'm asking. Gauchki doesn't seem to realize that the police officer isn't swayed by his status as a fellow officer and won't let the situation be brushed aside. Credit goes to the police officer for sticking to his principles and not giving in to pressure. Well, I'm a police officer, so yeah, I would have one in the pipe. Right, I understand that. But not everyone always carries it with ammo in it. I don't know where you're coming from or what's going on. I'm just asking questions. Because I'm going to retrieve it. And I just want to know if it's loaded or not. It's in the center console and it is loaded. Okay. Okay. Like it would be if I was a police officer, so yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Come back here. Back, back to my back door, please. All right. I'm just going to make sure you have no weapons on you. No, it's in the center console. Right. I'm just going to make sure. Then, the officer proceeded to ask Gauchki to go in the back seat of the police car. But Gauchki seemed stunned by that request. Have a seat. Uh, can I ask why I'm being put in the back seat of the car? You've been drinking. You are just told me that you're in possession of a loaded firearm. I'm separating you from the vehicle where the firearm is at. Right, and I'm a police officer. Right, I understand that, and you've been drinking. Well, but I, you haven't determined whether I'm, like, intoxicated or not. You've been drinking. <laughs> right? Please have a seat. 
It seems that Gowski didn't want to cooperate given the situation. The police officer recognizes the situation and is treating it very carefully. He eventually sat down and awaited further instructions. With the situation, you've admitted to me that you're drinking. I got you doing 75. Well, you have first loaded. Of all, I haven't admitted that I'm drinking. No, you did up there in the car. You said you had a couple drinks. Okay. Okay. You have but a loaded I mean, firearm in the car on top of all of this. I'm asking you to have a seat while I investigate this OVI and everything else that's involved. I know who you are and I understand, but I still don't have a choice. I have to address the situation as you're anyone else. The police officer respectfully made it clear that he would treat Kowski just like any other citizen and wouldn't show favoritism because of his status as a police officer. At this point, the realization finally dawned upon Gowski that his hope of leaving the situation before it escalated had faded, and there was no turning back. I stopped you. I could smell the odor of alcohol coming off your breath. Okay. Your words are slurred. Your eyes are bloodshot and glassy. After some time, another officer arrived and informed Gowski of his Miranda rights. They asked if he would participate in sobriety tests, which he initially declined. However, as the situation escalated, he eventually became agitated and agreed to undergo sobriety tests. Can I hear an argue on the side of the road? Well, no, I'm, I am going to argue because this is bullshit, and I, and I can guarantee you that I'm not slurred. Uh, I'm not, this is my career yeah, that I, you're talking about. Gauchi now started denying that he was driving under the influence and wanted to argue with the police officers. Uh, bullshit! I, can it, and me, me the same. Me the same, Ken. All right. Fine. I'll take this field sobriety right. test. And give that, me the field fucking and give him a better field idea where right we're at, okay, Ken? Because this is bullshit. Go ahead and cut your front overhead lights and we'll okay. come over here. I do have to... After arguing for quite some time, he finally agreed to do the sobriety test. He did the first test now. On to the second one. He seemed able enough to perform the first test, but the second one might be trickier. He even warned the officer that he was not doing the sobriety test right. By doing this, Gauchki wanted to let him know that as a fellow police officer, he had done these tests enough times on other DUI drivers. Now, the final test. The officer explained everything before they started. When I tell you to begin, I want you to take nine heel to toe steps down this line, counting out each step out loud, keeping your arms down at your side. When you reach your ninth step, you're gonna take a series of small steps, turning around in a circle, and you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. I'm gonna give you a demonstration. Left foot on the line, right foot in front of the left. I'm gonna count. One, two, three. Simulating my ninth step, I'm taking a series of small steps, turning in a circle, and I'm taking nine heel to toe steps back down that line. Do you understand my instructions? Yes. Okay, you may begin. this test, another police officer asked Gowski to do one last thing. Do you have any injuries that prevent you from standing on one leg for approximately 30 seconds? No. No? Okay. I'm going to have you come over here a little bit more, back into the roadway. Okay. Put your feet together, put your arms down at your side. When I tell you to begin, you're going to lift a leg, whichever leg you choose. You're going to raise it approximately six inches off the ground. You're going to point your toe forward so that it's parallel with the ground. Then you're going to begin to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on and so forth until the 30 seconds are up. Do you understand my instructions? Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you a demonstration. Arms down on my side, raise my foot, point it, toe down, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, and so on. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, you may begin. As much as Gowski hated the sobriety tests, he had to attempt them. It seemed that he was being treated as an ordinary citizen for the first time in his life. 1,002, 3, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. After failing to do the sobriety test, Gowski became agitated. He broke down and began to cry, realizing that there was no going back. This is where the real show from Gowski begins. All right. 
can I know, alright? Or we'll call, I can call somebody. One of your brothers from the apartment? Anyone. Anyone. Just let I don't want to have anybody. Okay. Alright, buddy. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Gusky's impairment was further evident when he failed three field sobriety tests. He also exhibited disruptive behavior by striking the police cruiser with his handcuffs. Let's have a seat. Let's have a seat for now. Have a seat. Oh, no, no, Ken, Ken, you're, you're good. Ken, Ken, stop. 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 Then he began sobbing uncontrollably. Don't do this to us, okay? Please. Come on, brother. Come on, Ken. Ken, Ken, calm down. Calm down, Ken, okay? You gotta stay calm for us, alright? Subsequently, Gautsky was taken to the Ohio State Highway Patrol Post, where a blood alcohol test revealed a reading of 0.169, indicating intoxication. After pleading not guilty, Gautsky posted bail and was released from jail. Chief John Orzek noted that Gautsky had been a member of the department for 19 years. As a result of his arrest, he had been temporarily suspended from his position in the department. Additionally, he had been ordered to complete 40 hours of unpaid community service. However, he did not lose his job. If you want to expose more corrupt cops who misuse their power, please subscribe to the channel.